On the left hand side, you can see the WhatsApp chat interface. First, let's get the menu. Hi, may I have the menu of today, please? All right, we are retrieving the menu and it's loading now. Great, the restaurant menu is now displayed in the WhatsApp chat room. Now I'll place an order. Hi, can I order two Caesar salad, please? And deliver to my place, please. All right, it's processing. All right, I need to enter my name and deliver address. Okay, my address is 1001 Hong Kong Street. And my name is Andy Low. Done. The order is now confirmed and right here we can see it instantly recorded in Google Sheet. Next, let's make a reservation. Nice, thanks. And I would like to also make a reservation for tomorrow at 2 p.m. It's loading. And now it's successfully booked. Great, so in just a few steps, we have demonstrated how customers can easily browse the menu, place an order, and make a reservation all through WhatsApp with everything seamlessly tracked in Google Sheets. And this automation makes the entire process smooth and efficient. So at the end of this video, I will let you know how you can get this AI agent as well. Let's dive into each note one by one. Hi, this is Andy. Welcome back to the channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create your own AI receptionist with this WhatsApp AI agent in just five minutes or even less. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we are going to use this WhatsApp trigger. We can search it here. And we are going to connect with your WhatsApp OAuth account. And for the WhatsApp OAuth API, you can search it from credentials, um, paste your client ID and pay, paste your client's key. If you encounter any problem or questions, feel free to let me know in our community for the credential setup. The next note, we are going to have the Eve note uh, because we need to detect if it is the audio must message or, or not. All right, so we can just have it and then just um, put JSON message type is equal to audio. All right, and then we have another note, HTTP request to get the audio um, binary here. So we will have get, and then you can just paste this URL, graph.facebook.com.version19, uh, and none for authentication, enable send headers, um, using fields below, uh, authorization, um, you need to put bearer space, and then your API key, okay? Um, do not copy mine, <laughs> and it is not correct, it's just a random number, so you can just paste your own API key. All right, for the next note, we have extract UR from binary. Basically, we are trying to extract from JSON and the input binary field, which put data, destination output field will put data as well. All right, then we will have another HTTP request note to download the audio. Now we use get method here, and then we put JSON data URL. All right, and then for send headers, we enable that and using fields below authorization, bearer and then paste your API key and um, okay for next note we are going to use OpenAI uh, connect with the OpenAI account again um, you can just paste your API key with the credentials for this OpenAI for resource we choose audio and operation we choose transcribe a recording input data field name input data all right and we are going to have an, a, an AI agent here this one so you can just choose that too. So for this agent, we choose tools agent. Define below for the prompt. And then we choose expression and then let's expand it and show you. You are a restaurant agent. You can handle the following tasks. Uh, first, send out our menu, the menu content and our new tool and check availability with Google Calendar Get tool and make reservation with calendar create tool. You will need a time and name. Remember to check the, the availability before creating the event. Each time slot only support one reservation. Place takeaway order, and you can put the record in um, 
food or a sheet and you can retrieve memory from conversation history more information today is now lose a phone number um, we can just put our phone number here and then here's the user questions all right that's how it works and then these are the tools we use uh, first of all this is a chat model uh, again connect with your open account we use gpt4 model this time and window buffer uh, we choose 10 for the context window length and 4 is key. You can just define your own as well. Um, and then we have the menu tool. Again, connect with your own um, Google Sheet account. And this is the menu tool. You can get the menu of our restaurant. So this is the link of our um, demo menu here. This is the menu. Okay. And, and then we are going to use the calendar tool here. Uh, connect with your calendar as well and description this is calendar get tool for you to check if there's any event in certain time slot past start time to search for uh, after and end time to search for before all right and uh, event get many this is the calendar you can choose your own calendar uh, from this list and starting time before time again we use from ai to determine which one is the starting time which one is the ending time all right, and then this tool, uh, calendar create, um, set manually. This is our calendar create tool. You need to pass start time and end time for booking. Also pass the name of the time slot. Again, uh, for the summary, this is the name. Uh, again, from AI, this is very simple. For this um, Google Sheet account, um, I mean, you can, this is, it is your food order sheet, actually. You can put the name, contact, food under the sheet um, column, include uh, name, contact, delivery, address, food. All right. And um, you can choose from your own document, um, your own, your own sheet, um, and put your name, contact, delivery, address, food, all using from AI. Because from this AI agent, we will, it will choose the best value to input to be input in this field. All right, let me show you the Google Sheet. It's very simple, just an example. Um, here it is, this is name, contact, the address, food. Um, in our conversation for the, with the WhatsApp um, chatbot, we didn't leave our account number, so it was not recorded here. Um, okay, so basically it's how it works for the order sheet. And this is the last note, which is the um, WhatsApp note as well. Uh, connect with your WhatsApp credential resource. We choose message operation sent, um, send a phone number. Um, again, we choose WhatsApp trigger first, JSON method, phone number, ID. Basically, it's from here. Okay. And then um, this one is for CPN phone number, test type, JSON output. Great. So that's how it works for this um, AI agent. You can build it within five minutes. Okay, we can build this really, really fast. Uh, but if you don't want to build it, but you want to get the template directly, um, feel free to go to our Andy Noco Premium. Uh, we have more more than 50 um, advanced uh, AI agent templates and also um, all the faces video automations as well. And for the Andy No Code API, uh, we provide up to 100 faces videos free rendering every month. Um, so feel free to let me know. Uh, if you are interested, I uh, hope to see you in our community. Bye-bye.